Welcome to the Soul of Innovation Podcast. I am Thomas Anglero and I'm thinking a lot about do you take care of yourself when it comes to your mental health? I mean, give it a moment. All day long, you're thinking all day long about things, about yourself, about other people, about what you got to do. Everything you do all day long comes from a thought. Mentally, you are grinding your mental machine, your brain, in fifth gear, 100, 200 miles an hour all day long. Everything you do is mental. So do you ever think about your mental health? What do you do to take care of your mental health? Let me tell you a story, and maybe that'll help you. This past week was a difficult week. A lot of things on my mind. Nothing major occurred, but an accumulation of life events. Does that sound familiar to you? Such that this week was tough mentally. To make a decision was really tough. To put together a sentence on an email, really tough. To connect dots that on any other day, any other week, would be just so obvious it's not even a thought, was very mentally tough. By the end of this week, I actually started thinking about this concept called mental health that I hear about in the newspapers, on the internet, radio, blah, blah, blah. And I started taking it really, really serious. Thursday evening, I was invited to a friend's house. A little get-together, a whole bunch of people. And I actually took a moment and thought, do I need to be there? Is that something that would help my mental health? I decided not to go. I think normally any one of us being invited to a networking event through friends and good people would want to be there and have a nice time. But when I thought about what I really needed, what my mental health really needed, I decided not to go. The following day I woke up, I felt so much better, not based on my decision, but because I gave my mind, I gave my emotions, my soul, my spirit, my consciousness, a break. Not having to be with people, perform in front of people, talk to people, hear all their anxieties, just focus on my own anxiety. How much time do you spend focusing on your own anxiety? We all have it. We all have so many things to do. We all are doing so many things. If you have kids, you worry about every one of those kids in every facet of their life. If you have a husband or a wife, you worry about that individual. Well, at least I hope you do. <laughs> if you have a dog or a cat, you worry about the dog. The cats usually take care of themselves, I think. You worry about your mom, your dad, your grandma, your granddad, your uncle, your aunt, your cousins, your nieces, your nephews. You worry, worry about colleagues at work. You worry about school teachers. You worry about friends of friends. And the mind is taking a beating. Your mind is getting beat up. Your mind is getting exhausted. But it doesn't have a chance to take a break. Because if your mind shut off, you shut off. You literally would no, not move. You would be laying on the street of some place. Maybe in the middle of the street, in the street. Hopefully you wouldn't be, lay, you'd be laying down maybe in your sofa or you're in bed. But some people have a mental breakdown when they have a mental breakdown and they have a mental breakdown in the middle of the street, in the street. Do you want to be one of those people? Do you take care of your mental health? When I thought about this, I thought, as we get older, as you get older, your mental health does not get better. Your experiences, your wisdom should be better 
because you're reflecting and thinking about life and you're able to handle life better. But your mental health is getting worse only because it is the accumulation of those events that make you wiser and more experienced that exhausts your mind and your senses and your feelings and your emotions. So what can you do to take care of your mental health? You could take time not to do anything, not to think anything, to just relax your mind, relax your soul, relax your inner, relax your inner self, and give peace to all of you. Not just to the physical you when you sit down in front of the TV set and watch Netflix. The mind is still working. Give the mind a Netflix break. Your mental health is the most important part of you because it's not allowed to take a break, is it? So give it a break so that you find peace and tranquility in yourself. Allow you to have a better day tomorrow and the rest of your life. It allows you to see people and see the people you love with more depth and clarity. Go forth and spread beauty and light. And you can only do that by taking care of you, taking care of your mental health. This is not a joke. You don't want to be in a state where you're overwhelmed and you can't get out of bed. I've known a few people that they're so overwhelmed by life situation and some horrible situations they've gone through that just none of us want to experience and they can't get out of bed and that means that their mental health is now done. We all could be in that situation. But to somewhat prepare for it, to somewhat avoid it, take a moment right now after you hear my voice after you listen to this podcast and relax your mind. Be at peace with yourself. Give gratitude to yourself. Your mental health will appreciate it. You will appreciate it and you will live longer. I remember people said that when you, every time you stress out, you get a wrinkle on your face. Even if that's true, let's say that's true. If you relax your mind, if you relax your soul, wouldn't that take away the wrinkles? Wouldn't that undo the burdens, the bad experiences, the trauma in your life? Isn't it the secret to anti-aging? Interesting, isn't it? I'm Thomas Inglero. Taking care of my mental health by taking care of you. I love you. Until next time.